the state house, the federal government has won that Nigeria should stop addressing President Tunubu as t -Pain. The state house has won that Nigerians should stop addressing President Tunubu as t -Pain. I know of T Pain, no? T Pain, the American musician, of course, that's his photo, who sang, uh, I want to buy you a drink. Ooh, I'm going to take you home with me. No, the, the T Pain, I don't know if you guys, this new uh, 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 GZ, know about T Pain. Well, I know that T Pain, but recently we found ourselves calling Mr. President T Pain. What does T pain actually mean? Some say it's temporary pain. Some say it's, uh, it's, uh, it's uh, tight pain. Some say it's till we die pain. You know, so many names, meaning of T pain. <laughs> but I think the best one is temporary pain. In fact, there is this guy, check out this guy. This guy said, no success comes without pain. I want success. So I choose the pain, temporary pain. This guy here is willing to go through the temporary pain in order to get to the permanent enjoyment. So he is with Tunubu. Somebody said, in 2024, you look like this. How you want to survive reach 2027? So this guy here is ready to go through the tea pain with President Tunubu. Who is flying private jet? I no talk more. I no talk more. But then again, the state has, state has won. Nobody should refer to Tunubu as tea pain again. And me, I am seconding it. Do not refer to Tunubu as T Pain. But see this man, Anthony, not Joshua. So see how he wrote T Pain, T Pain, T Pain, T Pain, T Pain. I know they hear what now. Or did they go arrest you now? But then again, if you check, eh, even the past president, they still have their own names. You understand? This is not the first time Nigerians are giving presidents' name. Babu was there. Gulo Jonathan also had his own as well. I think it's from Gulo Jonathan. Nigerians started internet trolling uh, the presidents. It was from Gulo Jonathan and Patient, his wife, that Nigeria started real abuse on presidents. After Gulo Jonathan then moved to Tunubu, uh, to Buari, then Buari now to Tunubu, we rest assured Nigeria go drag you now. You cannot expect Nigerians to be in this kind of situation. And you say, make them no quick. Is this dragging eh, that is making them feel like, oh, after all, I they drag the president, so I'm not going to feel the pain. You understand? Please allow Nigeria, because just imagine Nigeria cannot drag you on the internet. They will go to the street too. T pain. <laughs> If the federal government are looking forward to arrest anybody, let them go and arrest Atiku Abubakar first. Because Atiku Abubakar emphasized on that pain. Uh, at the last of his uh, this tweet, he wrote, It is even more worrisome that T pain is undisturbed by the hardship in the country. Check out the last statement. After the full stop, it is even more worrisome, it is even more worrying that T pain is undisturbed by the hardship in the country. So, if you want to arrest anybody, arrest Atiku first, arrest the big men first before coming for Twitter handlers who are just cashing crews with T pain. I know T pain, T pain is a musician. So, if I decide to shout T pain, 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 T pain. You, you now can't go, they tell me, say, why they talk to pain If you think I'm talking to the president, calling him t pain it's left for you. I never said I'm talking with the, to the president. We have somebody called t pain 
T-Pain. <laughs> Wait till T-Pain me say, uh-uh, I want to buy you a drink, ooh, I'm going to take you home with me. Mm -mm -mm. I'ma take you home with me to play like ooh, ooh, oh, oh. You need to play like ooh, ooh. Go on, listen to that song, guys. And meanwhile, for those of us who have been deceiving ourselves for years, say Nigeria has the biggest economy in Africa. Even in primary school, secondary school, they are still saying that Nigeria has the biggest economy in Africa. It's a big lie. Nigeria doesn't have the biggest economy in Africa. Please, for anybody who is teaching that in primary school as of now, that is a big lie. We have updates of the biggest economy in Africa. Check this one out. As of 2014, Nigeria was the biggest with 568 billion US dollars. As of 2023, they moved down to number two, Egypt, South Africa, then Nigeria below. Then, as of 2024, you see, Nigeria is now at number four. South Africa, 273 billion. Egypt, 347 billion. Then, uh, 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 Algeria, 266 billion. Then, Nigeria, 252 billion. 0.7 billion dollars. Ethiopia following closely. So, I am here to tell you now that Nigeria ha is now the fourth largest economy in Africa, not the big. If you okay, you can say that we agree Nigeria is the most populous black nation in the world. Nigeria is the most populous black nation in the world. That's why we agree. But largest economy, please, we have to drop that title. We are no longer in control. Let us drop it. South Africa has the largest economy as at now, 2014. And with the way we are going, let us pray things get better. Then let's move past that. Let's talk about the recent uh, interview with uh, Asha Yusifu, the Edo Awuchi woman from Yusufu's family. She said she doesn't have a president. Boldly said it, that she doesn't have a president. That you guys will not get president, but what? She no get president. Oh. <laughs> so you, you voted and you worked for Peter Obi mm -hmm. and you are one of those who won against Balatinobu. But now uh, you're one of those who are saying, oh, yeah, you got what you deserve. Those who voted. But either you voted or you did not vote. We have a president, isn't it? No, but we don't. We do have a president. No, you have a president. I don't have a president. What do you mean? Uh, you are a citizen of Nigeria. Yeah, and you reside here. I'm a citizen of Nigeria. I reside here. But we have an illegitimate president, someone who rigged his way into office. It's like if there's a military coup, are you going to sit down and accept that, oh, you have a president because someone, you know, there was a military coup? But you this can, is a political you, you, you coup. You cannot say that because I you do can, not have I, evidence. Aisha Yesufu yeah. can and have said that Nigeria does not have a president. What we have is someone who rigged his way into office who is illegitimately but occupying the court does not agree with your position. Your the court that has been captured can do whatever it wants to do and that's why there's no respect for it and that's why you have governors you know coming out to tank a tenubu when their the judgment goes their way so the fact that they, we have a captured judiciary and whatever I, Aisha Yusufu, and I say it without mincing words. I don't put water for my mouth. There's no precedent in Nigeria. There's a precedent for uh, Bola Tinubu? Factually. The former governor of uh, Lagos State, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, yes, is illegitimately occupying an office he shouldn't. And I've said it. You, do you have your opinion, should I have my own? So why does he have to... No, there's a fact. Do your own. There's a fact there's an opinion. No, then go ahead with your own fact. This is mine. This is my reality, and I'm telling you, Nigeria doesn't have. Why is it difficult for you to accept that? Why should this, I accept in the next four years? 
It's no, hold on, hold on, Shehu. Someone comes to my house, steal my car, take it away, repent it, and you're telling me that I have to accept it because it's been repented and well, you have got papers prove it. for it. You cannot well, prove that. that. You, the, the proving or not the proving, that's not the point. This is what I'm saying to you, Shehu. Mm. This is Aisha telling you that Nigeria does not have a president. If you, Shehu, believes that Nigeria has a president, go ahead. Who is stopping you? Mm. Go ahead. Who is stopping you? Mm. <laughs> Wahala. Well, uh, you know, uh, these are the bold people, the activists that I really, really respect. You know, straight talk. Even though you agree or do not agree with them, or they still stand on their ground. You understand? Big woman from Awoji. Strong woman, Yusufu. Strong woman. Big respect for that woman, man. Big respect. Not everybody can come out or make bold statement like that. Not everyone can come out that risk jail term. Treasonable offense. Well, I do not read the law. I'm not a lawyer or a barrister, so I don't know the side of this uh, whole thing. If she's uh, indeed uh, is offensive for her to say it, for our, because of our call, I don't know if there's any place in the constitution that will penalize such statements. Let us see for the next period. This is not the first time she's saying it. Ibu, the new national item, she didn't, any, anytime they are reciting the new national item, she knows they stand up. So, well, let's see what will happen though. Bold woman, bold woman. If I ever become the president, eh, at one point eh, in my life eh, mm, of Nigeria, I will build an image of Asha Yusuf. In fact, I'm going to put that, uh, you know, that uh, popular uh, 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 picture on one of our notes. I will remove one of all those heroes. In fact, eh, I will remove all the heroes of our notes. All the Aziki, we're all up there. All the heroes, I will remove all their faces from our note. I will start putting faces of the real heroes, activists, of people who really, really work daily, not politicians. Not politicians. And I'll put Asha Yusufu for the highest note of Niger. Bold, bold statement. I may not agree with Al because, of course, I don't have much power. Like ah, uh, I'm not an activist. I do not have much power as ah. Uh, I believe Nigeria has a president, President Bola Ahmed Tunubu. He went to court and court. I don't know if they are corrupt or not. They are, they can go and they check their conscience. Now they thought say we get president. So good and fine. <laughs>